<sighs> Remember when we used to get ban lists? Remember those things? You know, those lists of cards that we couldn't play or were restricted on play where it would change every like four-ish months and sometimes it would deal with problems and then sometimes it would generate new ones. You know, that entire thing that's meant to help the game progress and balance itself out and deal with things. I guess we just don't get those anymore, do we? What's up guys, Phoenix here, and this video is just going to be a little bit of a random whatnot video because on one of my videos yesterday, one of the users by the name of Mr. Crowley, he's got like a Leicester the Eidolon uh, Invoker thinger as the uh, as his um, as his profile picture, so it's pretty easy to spot. Uh, he pointed out that uh, this was yesterday. He pointed out that tomorrow, meaning today, is exactly six months since the ban list was last updated. And I was like, oh shit, has it really been that long? And yes, it has. On August 24th, 2016 was when the last ban list update was announced. <laughs> and it went into effect on August 28th, 29th, whatever. So, it has been exactly six months since we have heard anything as far as ban lists. And that's really off-putting as far as someone who really enjoys this game and wants to see it progress and wants to see it succeed and wants to see it evolve. Now, you could argue the game has been evolving with set releases, but that just means that the, deck, the decks are being more and more power creeped out even faster than they have been before. If you're using sets as a pseudo ban list as an argument, that just means the power creep there is insane because, I mean... I mean, it's true, we have Zodiacs, which power creeps out A, B, C, and D, 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 and those decks power creeped out the decks of the previous format. <laughs> this is like, well then, <laughs> not really a lot we can do here, but yeah. So, I just really wanted to like bring this to a, like, a bunch of people's attention, because it has been such a fucking long time since we've gotten anything list oriented and that sucks. Ever since Konami went away from set list dates... It's been nothing but a kick in the ass. I mean, yes, we've had six-month-long formats in the past, and that's perfectly fine. I'm not saying that six months is an incredibly long time, but the fact that we've heard nothing, and there's been nothing but problems in the game with things running rampant, is the biggest issue here. I was fine with six-month formats way back in the day, because we knew when they ended. We knew that it was only going to be a six-month format. We would have two ban lists a year and they would be on a set date you would be told when the ban list went into effect that this is only in effect until this date and that went away and it was kinda good for a little while where they were like alright we're gonna release a ban list update like every between three to four months but now it's been six months and it's absolutely ridiculous and we've we have no idea if there's even a ban list coming anywhere in the near future so this is just a video for me to complain. <laughs> but anyway, let me know what you guys' thoughts are in the comments down below. It has legitimately been six months to the day that they have released anything as far as ban list updates. Nothing. No hints at it, no nothing. I think one of the biggest things that Konami the TCG needs to do is go back to doing set forbidden list dates. Because that was like the hugest thing. The, the reason they discontinued set forbidden list dates when they were going to be dropping and going into effect is because people would just bother the shit out of the company. But now you've got people bothering the shit out of the company on an erroneously larger basis because we don't know when it's coming, so people are just going to complain all the time versus that little two-week pocket window before the list is supposed to go into effect where they're like, where's ban list, Konami? Like, come on now. Uh, from a business standpoint, it was a pretty poor move. I mean, you could at least reset dates and then, when it comes time for that next ban list to go into effect, you could put out an updated list that says, No new changes! The OCG has done that multiple times, and it gives you more time. You can extend the formats. <sighs> I'm just really sad. I'm really, really upset about this, and I want to know what you guys think about it in the comments down below. But anyway, this was just a random video just to sort of just bring it to everyone's attention that watches these sorts of videos that there has been no new ban list information, period. It's not like we haven't gotten a new ban list in six months, no. Not just that. There's been no information given of any sort of new ban list even being remotely close to happening. 
And that's where my gears kind of get grinded. But anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe to all the nonsense you usually do. Links are in the description to my Patreon page as well as my Facebook. If you want to go to either of those and check them out, definitely feel free to do so. Patreon is the best way to support me directly and also get in on a monthly giveaway if that's something you're interested in doing for a box of Raging Tempest happening at the end of this month. But anyway, that's all I can really say about that. Let me know what your thoughts are again in the comments down below. Six fucking months. Do you know how much stuff happens in six months? A fucking lot, especially when you're living in the real fucking world. But anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Take care. I'm going to go be sad for a little while.